How are you doing everyone? This is Daryl as a service. We're looking at the new Loop UI, the Microsoft Loop app and how it has improved. Uh, going to be talking and walking through some of these new items in the new menu over on the left hand side here, uh, taking a look at some of the changes and how it improves the way that we navigate our Loop content. Been a lot of thought given into how we can go in between things like meeting notes or going into our ideas and adding them to the right loop workspaces. We see this typical uh, landing page here of the workspaces. This is what we've seen in the previous app, but what we do get to see here now is this left hand menu. And I'm just going to work, work through some of these things, take a look at them, uh, and pass comments on what I think and where it could improve. Um, so first of all, uh, going into, let's say meeting notes, it's a hot topic. We're using collaborative meeting notes more and more in our Teams meetings. It is a good way to add an agenda to start to capture notes and also capture those uh, action items at the end of the meeting. Um, so this new panel here is all about sorting that out week by week. In fact, it's going to even show us some of our recurring meetings wherever we are attaching our meeting um, notes to those meetings. Let's go back um, to, and I know there was a good example back here in June where I was adding meeting notes to a few different test meetings. So bear in mind, this is a, a, a test tenant, and uh, I don't really want to show you some of the, the actual meeting notes that I'm taking for client meetings. Um, but I'll go into uh, this one, for example, we have added the meeting notes. You can see that typical format of agenda, meeting notes, and follow-up tasks. And uh, we can flick through and join each of these and, and open them up. Now what is uh, new also here is this um, add to workspace button. So when I click on that, it's going to allow me to, um, and it's not quite working right now, but it's very similar to this when I go to add to workspace. It opens up, allows me to choose a workspace that I want to add it to, like this one. It will uh, add them and then I can open up that workspace and see that linked note at the top of the list. So quite helpful. I can then drag it down into wherever I plan to organize my meeting notes um, like I do here typically. Uh, looking into our recent panel, right? So here's where I'm gonna be able to go back and see recent pages that I've been working on that I have had open. Let's go back to the um, messages that Daniel Glenn and I had opened up uh, and we organize our, our messages for the 365 message center show. So easy to be able to switch between different workspaces and pages within those workspaces. You can see the uh, breadcrumb or rather a link through to where that workspace is. And if I click, uh, I can go and open up where that workspace is and see all the pages. Now look at how that folds out. That nice little animation comes out, shows me the pages within that workspace. Uh, and I can continue from there. Um, so I, I like this. I like this to be able to navigate that content. One thing that I also like about Loop and the workspace experience is I can actually tuck away a number of these things and just focus on the page content. So if I close this panel and then I use this other button up here to collapse the, ta the tabs in this navigation, now it's just this nice tidy list of, uh, of items and if I want to recall what they are rather than seeing the full name I can hover over and see that. For example going down here I can hover over that icon. This is why it's important to use the emojis in, in stylizing our workspaces and pages that I can instantly recognize that as the, the emoji that I use for my own notebook. Click on that, open it up, there it is, so I can and, uh, navigate that content. One thing that I would like to see change here though, is that as I'm opening it up, it is showing the content from the last page that I was looking at. Maybe that's a preference that I might sort of keep there if I'm able to switch it. But one thing I'd like to see is that if I click on the workspace that I'm opening up, that it might go back to the previous page that I was looking at, such as you know, this one where I've been planning the notes for talking about this very video. 
So that's one thing that, I, that, that could be a way of improving that. In this section above it, let's just expand that so we can see it clearly. There are uh, recent pages that, uh, or rather recent um, workspaces that I might have had open. All right, so I can go into this one where it was all about um, content that I was discussing with uh, Andy and John from uh, the 365 Deep Dive. We did a little episode on Loop and the Loopiverse. So that's going a way back, uh, but I did have it open recently as I was looking at it. Let's go back into my own... Um, Let's go into, let's say, Quick Notes, for example. Just wanted to spend a bit of time looking at this Create New button. Uh, so while I'm in a workspace, I now have the option to create a page or a link uh, in addition to creating new workspaces or an idea. So in the current workspace, you can see that divider there, that this is what is uh, possible to add to that page or rather to that workspace. Maybe if I click um, add a new link, I can drop in uh, the name of the text of that link that I'm going to paste in, and then I can add the address there. You know, one thing that's going to be good uh, in the future, I hope, is that we can uh, not only paste in an address, but maybe we could browse through and link to other content, maybe in the, the workspaces and across the Loop app itself, or maybe a list of recent documents, uh, like we see when we're adding them to a workspace as part of that, um, is it called warm start or jump start experience? Uh, back into navigating a meeting, no, our ideas. So this hasn't changed, we're still seeing the idea space here and that you can add an idea quickly. More important, I think when you are working uh, from your mobile that you're able to add a new um, idea from there and then organize it based on what workspace it should be part of. Um, we can see in notifications, not a lot going on in my demo environment, but this is where if someone has mentioned me in a in a workspace, in a component, I'm going to see notifications here. And also that new capability of uh, when you um, have added some automation to your, your tables based on conditions, that it can notify you here uh, and not have to use a um, Power Automate license. Um, so that's about it. It is, it is a significant change, a significant look and feel. I definitely like uh, some of these navigation improvements and being able to collapse things so that I can just focus on the content and, and work on the task at hand um, based on that. So that was Loop 2.0 UI. Um, let me know what you think, any ideas or thoughts about what you'd like to see next or improve. And um, more, loop dupe, more Loop Deep Dives in the future here at Modern Work Mentor. We'll see you again soon. Bye for now.